The scientific outcome in our time and the huge scientific development we are witnessing in all fields such as physics and chemistry. Medicine, astronomy, mathematics, and engineering are nothing but the product of many years of research and thinking, carried out by a group of the most famous scholars. To say the least, they have had a strong impact on human history. The truth of the strange things is that if you contemplate the life of human beings throughout the ages, from the moment of human creation until today, you will find that the scientific development that took place in the last 200 years only, through the time of the Industrial Revolution until today, is greater than most of mankind's achievements over thousands of years. If we bring the achievements of the last 200 years and put them in a pan, and the achievements of mankind before that in a pan, often the scale of the 200 years, they will prevail. This, of course, is not to diminish the efforts of the predecessors, but on the contrary, they are the cornerstone from which most of the sciences and ideas that currently exist have descended. But the fruits of all those years did not appear except in our modern age and at the hands of these scholars. It is not useful for life to have what we fear or fear. All that is in the matter is that it is our duty to understand what things are and nothing more. Once we understand it, the fear will disappear immediately, so it is time for us to understand more and fear less. This is one of the sayings of the famous Polish physicist and chemist Marie Curie. Marie is considered a pioneer in the field of radioactivity and contributed to the discovery of two radioactive elements, radium and polonium, and conducted studies on the possibility of treating cancerous diseases using radioactive isotopes. She is the first female university professor to be appointed at the University of Paris, and it has great achievements in treating the wounded of the Second World War through the devices it invented at the time to treat the wounded as quickly as possible. Mary Curie is the first woman to be awarded a Nobel Prize in the world. In fact, it also won the Nobel Prize twice and in two different fields, a precedent that is the first of its kind in history. Interestingly, Marie Curie received the Nobel Prize, and her husband, Pierre Curie, also received the Nobel Prize. Her daughter, Irene Curie, also received a Nobel Prize, and Frederick Tullio, Irene's husband, shared the Nobel Prize with his wife. In addition to the establishment of a Curie Institute by Mary, from which four people graduated, who also won the Nobel Prize. The Marie Curie family is the largest family that has ever held the Nobel Prizes in the world. Every creature is only an engine that has a certain role in the rotation of the wheels of the universe, even if its role is not very clear, but it is influential in the end. A sentence said by the genius engineer Nikola Tesla, who is considered a very important member of the rotation of one of the largest wheels of science. Tesla is often described as the most important inventor of the modern era, due to his revolutionary contributions in the field of electromagnetic energy, and his inventions of alternating current electric motor and communication fields. Except for the invention of radio and its contribution to the development of robots, computer science, and remote control systems, some people think that he outperformed Thomas Edison in a large number of areas. We can live our lives without Plato. But we are in urgent need of many people like Newton to be able to discover the secrets of nature and make life in harmony with natural laws. This is a saying made by the well-known chemist Dmitry Mendeleev, who is a man of applied sciences more than anything else, because from his point of view it is the most beneficial to society and people. Mendeleev drew a very great map that the most famous scientists after him were able to follow step by step and collect the rest of the unknown symbols in it. The map is the periodic table. He is credited with creating the first version of the periodic table of the elements, and using the table he was able to predict properties of elements not yet discovered, which in turn opened the door for all chemists after him to navigate vigorously in the search for the nature of these elements. Mendeleev considered one of the main reasons for the arrival of chemistry to its current form. Science does not know a specific country or nationality. Knowledge belongs to all human beings, and it is the torch that will light the whole world in the end. Louis Pasteur is a French biologist and chemist best known for his contributions to fighting germs and reducing deaths from puerperal fever. He invented the first vaccine or treatment for rabies. Among his most famous scientific achievements is his invention of a specific method that eliminates bacteria and germs found in foods and drinks without destroying the vitamins in them, which was later known as the pasteurization process. In addition to previous achievements, Louis Pasteur is considered one of the three most important people who founded microbiology.
The Milky Way galaxy is a huge number of innumerable stars, and these stars are distributed in groups. The author of this saying is the Italian astronomer and physicist Galileo Galilei. But the Milky Way is a group of stars, and this is known to us now and is also normal. But more than 500 years ago, it was more like science fiction. And you can imagine that because of his claims and what he said that the Earth revolves around the Sun and that the Milky Way galaxy consists of stars and nebulae, an order was issued to prosecute him. And he was placed in his house under house arrest for many years because what he said did not agree with the prevailing custom at the time, nor the words of the predecessors. In fact, all the achievements of astronomy in our time owe all thanks to Galileo. He is the inventor of long-range telescopes and the first to refute the geocentric hypothesis, and this strongly nominates him to be the father of astronomy and modern physics. I love those who can smile in troubled times and who can gather strength from distress and courage from thinking and follow their principles to the end. This is one of the famous quotes of Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was a painter, inventor, mathematician, sculptor, botanist, writer, musician, and anatomist. This man was a genius in every sense of the word and is always described as the first man of the Renaissance and far from the paintings. One of the very strange things about da Vinci is that more than 500 years ago, he was able to develop designs and models for some devices and machines, which are present in our time, such as helicopters, tanks, calculator, and the use of solar energy. And no one knew how such a man could predict the possibility of these things one day, which would happen hundreds of years after his death. I don't know what might appear to the world in the future, but despite the many contemporary scientific achievements, I feel like a little boy in front of a huge ocean from which he could only see the shore. While the huge ocean is full of facts and science, is still unknown to me. This may be one of the truest words that Isaac Newton said during his life, because science is indeed a large ocean that has no other. Newton, a physicist, chemist, mathematician, astronomy, and philosopher, is considered one of the most influential people in the history of science. It was Newton who described gravity and the laws of motion and laid the foundation for classical mechanics. He excelled in optics, built the first reflecting telescope, developed color theory and the analysis of white light through a triangular prism. He formulated one of the laws of cooling, studied the speed of sound, and developed the science of calculus. Newton is a scientific encyclopedia by all standards and preceded his era in several stages and his place among all the most famous scholars remained in the first place. Scientific discoveries and knowledge are only made by those who have gone out in pursuit of any material purpose whatsoever. This is one of the famous sayings of the German physicist Max Planck, who is considered the founder of one of the most complex branches of physics, the quantum theory. He is also considered one of the most important physicists of the 20th century, but his main fame lies in quantum theory which literally caused a scientific revolution in the understanding of the most famous scientists of atomic and subatomic processes, and his discoveries led to the development of industrial and military applications. Its impact was on all aspects of life, from the moment of its discovery until today. Planck was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1918, and his theories remain the basis for a large number of sciences. In fact, any great difficulty has its own solution within it but it remains for us to change our way of thinking in order to be able to obtain it. Niels Bors, the author of the aforementioned statement, is a Danish physicist who, along with Planck, contributed to the understanding of atomic structure and the launch of quantum mechanics, and he was able to contribute to solving some of the problems and dilemmas that classical physics could not deal with and solve. He explained how energy is emitted or absorbed by electrons and was one of the influencers in the emergence of nuclear or atomic energy. He received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922, and the beautiful thing is that his son Ajapur was born in the same year in which he received the award. When he grew up, he continued his father's career and became one of the most important physicists in history, and he also won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1975. Suffice it to say here, E equals mc square, the well-known German physicist Albert Einstein, author of the Theory of Relativity. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1921 and is one of the most important and undisputed physicists of all time. Einstein discovered the photoelectric effect and developed the special and general theories of relativity and his theories about his new concept of gravity and made time a fourth dimension. In addition to the traditional three dimensions, 
This is what made him an icon of creative genius. Albert Einstein published more than 300 scientific papers and more than 150 books during his lifetime, and he is deeply respected by the entire community of famous physicists. In 1999, the Times Magazine named him the person of the century. It is worth noting that his theory of relativity, as well as the theories of quantum mechanics together, form the basis of modern physics, which led to most of the scientific developments we are witnessing in our time. That's all for today. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends, and also tell us in the comments section about ideas for upcoming videos.